Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about configuring the call return service on the AS5300 with the provisioning client. In today's demo, I'll show how to configure the call return service, assign the call return service to a user, and remove the services we configure. We'll be starting today's demo with the provisioning client open. You can find detailed instructions in the Avaya Aura Application Server 5300 Release 2.0 using the provisioning client guide at the link shown. Now let's get started. The first thing we need to do is configure our call return service. We go under Services, Call Origination, Call Return. And this opens our call return service portlet. And we'll uh, create a new service profile and we'll just call it Kevin Testing. And we'll uh, select Call Return via Vertical Service Codes or VSC. And we'll click Save. We get a message from the system indicating that the Call Return profile was saved successfully. Next, we have to assign the profile to the domain. So we'll click on Assign and Remove. And we'll apply the ds2autosip.com and we just click on it in the available domains, copy it over to the selected domains, and then hit save. And we get a message indicating that the call profile was successfully saved to the domain. The next thing we need to do is verify that the user has rights in their profile for the call return service. And so what I'm going to do is I'll just use the user search to get to the specific user uh, that I'm interested in. And that's the SIP 1037 user. And then click on user search. Now that we have our user displayed, we'll click on the services tab. And we'll scroll down to the call return service. And in this case, it's not checked, so we'll apply it to this user and click on Save. And we get a message that the service was assigned successfully, and now we need to apply it to the service profile. So we click on Services, Call Origination, Call Return. And once we're back to the Call Return portlet, we click on User Data. Enter in our SIP 1037 user. Hit the view. Select our user systems profile. And we're going to apply the Kevin testing and click on save. And we get a message that the user profile was assigned successfully. And that completes adding the call return service to this 1037 user. Now, what we want to do is for our next Part of the demo is remove the service that we've applied. Now first thing we need to do is remove it from the user because the system will not allow us to delete a call routing service if there's a user assigned to it or if it's assigned to a domain. So the first thing we need to do is remove it from the user and to do that since we already have this 1037 user selected here we can just click on uh, the Kevin testing and then select delete and that will remove it from the profile. Since this type of deletion is considered service affecting, we need to enter the admin password to confirm. And then click on the confirm button. And we get a message that the call return service was unassigned successfully. The next thing we need to do is remove the profile from the domain. So I click on system profile, then click on assign and remove under Kevin testing. From the selected domains we select the DS2 auto SIP. Click on remove. Click on save. And we get a message that the domain was saved successfully. And the last thing we need to do is delete the Kevin testing profile. And we just click on delete. 
Since it's service affecting, we need to confirm with the admin password and click on confirm. And we get a message that the delete was successful and we can see that the Kevin testing has been removed from the list of profiles. And that concludes our demo for today. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.